Hey guys, and uh, welcome back to uh, to the solar system. Now, in the last video, I showed you the truth of the solar system, the true form, and this is just what the Nazis want you to think. But uh, after after the recording of the previous video, within the past two years, scientists have a uh, Across the globe, I'd say about uh, 19 out of 20 scientists, uh, out of every group of 20 scientists, uh, agreed that that universe was uncool. So they changed things up a bit. Now the universe is different, uh, and let's—I'll uh, show you why. So first, we're going to start out with the sun. Now, just like in the previous video. We learn that there's the sun that we have, or their modern, the modern depiction of what our sun is. That's accurate, but only partly, because it's a. It was a binary system in the previous video. They would orbit each other, but uh, after according to the previous video, uh, -oh, uh, we learned that. Uh, due to a very scientific phenomenon, uh, it's now a trinary star system. Uh, uh, yeah, so it's uh, very bright and hot. The scientific phenomenon behind that. Hold on. Let me change the name here to the official name of the metric system. There we go. Now the scientific phenomenon, I won't go into too much detail. Uh, it's a sensitive topic. They usually don't teach you about that until you're a, you're a big boy in like astronomy 8. But I wanna... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't remember this from... Let's... Let's just start over. Oh, right. Let's go. The scientific phenomenon behind that is when a mommy son and a daddy son love each other very, very much. Um, I think I'll stop right there. I don't want to spoil it. Let's see. I need to get an accurate representation of the young sun. It's a, it's a little smaller than these two. I say that... It would be kind of around there. I'm only estimating here, obviously. This is a simulator. It's not perfect. It's not perfectly accurate. There we go. Uh, and uh, the mass is... I'd say not quite half, maybe a little bigger than half the size of the mass of the other two suns. counted the planets backwards, so the ninth planet is actually the closest to the sun, we counted backwards. Oopsies. Alright, so this is, this is more like the universe. Alright, so a few differences between this and uh, what is being portrayed here, it looks like it's just going in a big, big old straight line. So we're going to have to mess with the motion a little bit. So orbital parent is the sun. It was Sun Jr. just a second ago, unless I'm, I'm mistaken. Um, I'm not sure if we can mess with the orbits that much when the circular orbit is established. 
this very well. Let's see. So we are at a little bit, bit of an angle. Like this. How dare you? It looks like we're gonna have to get a new Planet Nine. Sun Junior is part of a misfit among all of the planets. So we're gonna have to just go a little bit out over here. I say that uh, Planet Nine is approximately, as far as right now, 44. 0.1 AU. I say it's uh, about normally in real life it's about 20 AU give or take like a hundred in each direction. But uh all right so this is what we're gonna have to do for now just to ensure the simulation doesn't make another mistake. All right then uh, we have the earth which is orbiting it as we learned last time but uh it's not quite that simple. See I would we were right to know that we were orbiting Mercury, but Mercury actually orbits Planet Nine as a moon. It's a very eccentric orbit. It's very scary. Sun eat Mercury. Alright, let's go back. Oh, okay. Let's try this again. with a few settings here to make sure that we have everything as accurate as possible. So we're... Ooh, this is a fun setting right here. What has happened? Oh no. This is not the Mercury orbit, I'll tell you that right now. Oh no. So it's, normally that kind of stuff happens like Nobody's really messing with the settings, but those kind of movements, moving around the planet, uh, that's that's natural. It's natural. Mercury is a little, a little hyperactive, as you will. True anomaly. See, there's no false anomaly in this simulation. No, this is good. I think. It's good enough for now. It still counts as a moon for Planet Nine. Don't judge me. Okay. And we are a moon around Mercury. Mercury is a little bigger, though. I forgot to mention that there. So, as stated in the previous video, Mercury's kind of big. Uh, what was that, a hundred moons? Well, we learned that it's... Uh-oh. Did Mercury consume Planet Nine? That's okay. That's bound to happen now and then. Uh, so recently we learned that it's actually... 98.6001 moons, not 100. Uh, sorry for the error on that one. I didn't mean to misinform you too heavily. 
Ooh, a Brady. Now, as in the previous video, I said that it was mostly iron. That's just not right. It, there's no iron. Not a not a single drip. Not a single paper clip. about negative 274 degrees Celsius. Uh-oh. Seems to be having a few issues here. Let me mess with the temperature just a little bit. I see. So I think after scientists uh, finally measured the weight of the atmosphere on, on Mercury, we found it to be about like 53 grams. Point zero 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 one. It wasn't the many kilograms that, that I claimed it was last time. Albedo very high, making me hate against this planet to be cool. Nobody likes a planet that is not cool. Mercury, why are you doing this to me? Alright, so we're going to play a fun game called Pretend That Mercury is in fact negative 274 degrees celsius all right and that's us uh and what we think is the moon is actually mercury glowing and another fun thing we don't realize that they demonstrated um, we're actually being orbited by another Earth. Just thought I'd let you know that. It's a huge star. It's hard to see. But, uh, we are. Just like that. See? No problems at all. Hopefully, probably not, but hopefully orbiting each other. Looks like this Earth is going to catapult off into space, but who needs that other Earth? In my personal opinion, really better Earth. Wait, which one is this? Never mind. Okay. Next on our list, we have... This is a raw basketball. It isn't one that we extracted from space in the process. This is an unprocessed basketball fresh from space. Uncut, as you will. So it's at its original size. I think this is the basketball being portrayed here is a processed basketball, but is there any raw basketball unit of measurement? Raw basketballs are quite, quite bigger. Uh, it's a little harder to slam one of these basketballs through a hoop like we do on Earth. Where is this? So normally this is, this basketball from the sun, it would be about one foot away, but uh, the simulation doesn't seem to like 
I don't I don't think the sun is 80% earth. I don't think the basketball is 80% water when it's rock. I think it's closer to 90%. And the rest of it is just iron. No silicon go away. Maybe a little hydrogen. Just break some up. Why not? A little hydrogen never hurt anybody. Basketball abs absorb all. Fun fact. Now we got a few golf balls. In the previous video, I mistakenly suggested what is happening. That the golf ball was its own planet. It's only a subplanet of the basketball. I was wrong. Let's see. I'm scared to see what might be happening right now. I think we might need to turn down the amount of hours per second that it is happening right now. There we go. Because in real life, it isn't six hours per second. It is six hours per six hours. Point zero 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 one. Alrighty. Now we're getting to. Now we're getting somewhere. Uh, the next planet is the Pinwheel Galaxy. Why is it orbiting the basketball? The Pinwheel Galaxy orbits the suns. There we go. Alright, the next. I think it might have been reclassified as a regular planet for a while. We thought it might be a dwarf planet. Um, I don't see any orbits appearing. There we go. Let's see. Orbital parent. Well, let me know. Orbital parent. Orbital, orbital parent. Alright, I'm gonna act like... What the heck? The amount of stars has changed. I think the, the information presented in the game at the moment is inaccurate. I don't know why I won't keep that information. That's like... 1.0001? That's like a 100,000 stars they're missing out on. I can't believe this game. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to report to the developer, but whatever. We can worry about that later. Ah. Sorry, I was scared for a second. Oh, right. Now let's get into the details. Let's see what kind of actions we got here. I just wanna make sure I didn't forget anything. future everything's in Fahrenheit, but uh, I'll let that slide. Uh, the sun reflects all. That's why it's so bright. It's not. I'm gonna have to be right back. Alright, I am back. Alright, now as I was saying, the albedo of the sun is, it is 1. Uh, and that is because it doesn't actually produce any light. That's a that's a hoax. Where's the sun junior? There he is. Okay. Just making sure. Um, the only reason that the suns are glowing is because there's a bunch of good for nothing whippersnappers down on Earth who uh, shine shine lights at the sun, uh, make it too bright for old man Jenkins to get to bed, get a good nine hours of sleep. So. Yeah, it's quite a shame. I, I feel bad for him even in this simulation, so I think I might just cool the sun down just a little bit. <laughs> Luminosity. I don't even have to cool it down. I can just... No. No. 2.7 degrees Kelvin. 
There we go. Okay. And this sun's cold too. Stone Jr. still has a bright future, but these ones are dead. They have no future left. Alrighty. We're getting somewhere, we're getting somewhere. Now we need Ablandia. Ablandia, there we go. Uh, where is your god now? That's that's later in the solar system. How many units back are we? Where's Pinwheel? Okay, yeah. This is a little out of Pinwheel. Why does it keep wanting to orbit Pinwheel? It should be orbiting the sun. Don't worry, I can I can go in and make sure that's the right motion. Orbital parent. Why is it pinwheel? This is very not an accurate simulation. I don't understand what the developers were thinking. Uh, this should be orbiting the sun. I'm sorry. Quite. Uh, is this the correct temperature? Close enough. I just have to make sure that the possibility for life, where is that? 30.9. Oh, it's getting higher. Yep. Because this is where all of the uh, Smartosians originated. And so we must preserve that natural state of the planet. All right, now this is where things might get a little wonky here. We have this completely natural phenomenon we measured. We spotted it with our Kepler telescope. Uh, it's a meteor that looks very, very similar to a pumpkin, or rather a jack-o'-lantern. Where is it? I can't see it. I think it's getting a little too cozy. Uh, it's point. Zero zero one millimeters big, uh, and we spotted it with our, our telescope. Uh, it's the jack o' lantern, and it says U.S. squared. Originally, we thought I said U.S.A., which stands for Universe Inbox Alpha, but they came out with the second one. So there you go. Alrighty, uh, something's been bothering me. I've noticed that the background is not very accurate. It's black with stars. I don't even know what this garbage is. It looks like somebody spilled uh, some milk onto the, uh, the onto space. We haven't done that quite yet. Let's see. I think this one might be a little closer. Nope. This is closer to what I was thinking. Is there, let's see. I want something like this, right? But green, can I get that? Okay, so this is closer to what space looks like. Uh, the view through the oxygen in our atmosphere kind of skews it just a little bit. your god now 
It orbits very closely to this Jekyll Island. Why is it called Algol? This is called Where Is Your God Now? I don't understand. It's called that because we heard it utter that phrase before when we were observing it. Uh, where the heck is Simeon? I don't know what happened. I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. I don't know what happened. Uh, I like this beautiful camera angle of nature. I should put this on the cover of a science book. I think it is on the cover, cover of a few more enlightened science books. Also, everybody knows that some vessels are made of pure iron. With a dash, with a, a pinch of water. About three tablespoons. fast spinning thing, I'll tell you that. Pickles don't take that long to spin. Where the heck did Pinwheel go? It's a nice little mystery. I think Pinwheel's dead. Uh oh. 51.6 days. From when? From today? I think we might have predicted the end of the world. 51.7 days. When is that? Oh no. Who would have known that Where Is Your God Now would have gone rogue? <laughs> this is too much to watch. I I don't like this temp I don't I don't like this universe. What is this? I think we should change it back. I think we should change the universe back. Zooming into something. Well, I guess this is Earth now or something, so let's see what's going on. Ooh. So I guess in about 52.3 days, this is what it's going to look like being a human being. Because we'll have gotten sucked into Where Is Your God Now for some reason. I would have thought we got sucked into. Universe Sandbox Squared Jack-O-Lantern, but I guess the common belief of how the universe might end was uh, incorrect. But uh, that's going to be it for this episode. There's not much different with this universe than there was the previous. I just thought I would enlighten you guys again. Uh, I hope you guys continue to pursue your interest of science. And, uh, Maybe if the universe updates a little bit, I can get back to you guys, but we're still waiting on 12.3 update of the universe. Uh, we're trying to ask my boy J Dog Christ what's going to happen, but uh, we're still waiting on that. So uh, I will see you the next time something like that happens. Bye.